Hello everyone, welcome to our Live Mass TV. Today we have a nice exponential equation on the board before us here now. Now, the question is a kind of a simple, but not as simple as you may think, okay? Now the question reads, y to the power of y, all to the power of y, equal to one all over two, all to the power of root two. What there will be the possible value of y that will satisfy this equation. Now, before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, this is all I must TV, where we learn mathematics all the time. So if you're new, subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video like the one you're about to watch here right now. Now, with that being said, let's go into today's challenge. Now, we put down our question by taking selection first. So let's take solution. We write our question, which is y to the power of y, or to the power of y, equal to your 1 all over 2, or raised to the power of root 2. All we need to do is to get a number that we can raise to itself, further raise to itself again on this other side, to uh, equate it to this other side. In other words, we are going to work mainly on the right-hand side of this equation. Okay, so now let's continue. So this will now give us here 1 all over 2 all raised to power 2 all raised to 1 all over 2. Because this square root sign is the same thing as 1 all over 2. Again, what we do here, this is what we do. This exponent, which we have here now, this exponent, I want to multiply this by uh, 2 all over 2, which is uh, 1. Because if I multiply this exponent by 1, it will still give me the same thing. In other words, I want to multiply by your 2 all over 2. Okay? Which I can equally separate this to give me 2 times 1 all over 2. So let's multiply this exponent by that. And so, if we do that, this will now give us, sorry, this will now give us your 1 all over 2 or raised to your 2 raised to 1 all over 2 the times your 2 dot 1 all over 2. All right, so I cannot move these two here and multiply the two fractions we have here. So if we do that, this will now give us 1 all over 2 or raised to 2, these two please, all to the power of 2, which is these two, I move down to this side, then 1 all over 2 times 1 all over 2 will give us what? Your one all over four. So we're going to have this to be your dot one all over four. Good. Let's continue on this side. So this now implies that your one all over two raised to two raised to power two is four. So here we now have this to be four or raised to one all over four. All right. At this point, look at what I have here now. I want to multiply the whole of this by 2, 1, all over 2, okay? In other words, I want to multiply this by 1 and separating it to give me 2 times 1, all over 2. So again, I want to rewrite this as 1, all over 2, bracket, bracket, your 4 to the power of 1, all over 4, that times your 2 dot 1, all over 2. Okay. All right, so from here, if you look at this, this is an exponent, this is an exponent multiplied itself again, okay, sorry, multiplied by another. Now, remember your um, law of indices, we say that if you have a to the power of m n, this is equal to your a, we can put this as our m all raised to power n, or our a to the power of n all raised to power uh, m. Okay, so if we look at this law, we can move this down to this place and move this this other way. So this now implies that our 1 all over 2 bracket, bracket, your 2 dot 1 all over 2 there into, let's put this separately, and this you have your 4 to the power of 1 all over 4 close bracket. Okay. Now, from here, what happened, we shift this inside this guy according to this law here now, okay? So, we can separate this into this. So, one square will give us one, and the square of two 
will give us uh, four. So we now have this to be one all over four or to the power of one all over two, then times your four all raised to one all over four. Easy. Again, let's continue on this side. Now, if you look at this carefully, we already have one all over four here, and we have one all over four here. So, how do we now rewrite this one all over two? To so bring out one all over four. Now, one all over two can also be expressed as uh, eight all over 16, or four all over eight, right? But here, I want to raise this figure, whatever I'm going to use here, I want to raise it to one all over four. Also, because of what we are having here, what we are having here. Okay, so rewriting this now, I can rewrite this as this now implies or this is equal to 1 all over 4. Okay, your 1 all over 2 could be written as your um, 1 all over your 16 or raised to your power um, 1 all over 4. Okay, then times your 4 or raised to 1 all over 4. Easy. The fourth root of everything here will give us one all over two. <laughs> true or false? That is true. Okay? Good. So if the fourth root of everything here will give us one all over four, here this power and this power are the same. That is the essence of using this figure. And that's why some persons or some of my viewers they say I talk too much in my uh, explanation. The essence of this talk or of this many talks is this. So is that so that when you see similar problem or similar a uh, question that has uh, same structure but different figures, you will know that okay because what we are having here is this. What we are having here that is what we determine what you use in this place. Okay, so my talk is not too much. Okay, so in other words, I can solve the whole of this question in less than two minutes. If I'm to solve this in exam hall myself, I will solve it in less than two minutes. Okay, but this is um, a learning class. Okay, I want to switch away by evil a layman will be carried along in this class. Okay, so from here, you now discover that we have a law. We say that if we have a dot b all raised to uh, the power of x, this is your a to the power of x dot b to the power of x. Okay, according to this law again, we are having a this our uh, b so we can multiply out because the exponents are the same so if we rewrite this we're going to have this to be one all over four all raised to the power of four all over 16 okay close bracket they all raised to what one all over four easy and one four all over 16 will give us one all over four because four year one four year uh, 4. So this will now give us here your 1 all over 4 raised to your 1 all over 4 all raised to 1 all over 4. Easy. Now, let's bring our, our, our left hand side of our equation. So this now implies that our y to the power of y to the power of y is equal to your 1 all over 4 close bracket, raised to 1 all over 4, close bracket, or raised to 1 all over 4. Now, at this point, the question is solved. In other words, this is equal to this, this is equal to this, this is equal to this. So, y automatically will give us what? So, therefore, our y is equal to 1 all over 4. Okay. Easy. So, that is the value to our y that will satisfy this exponential equation okay so this marked the end of this exponential challenge if you get something from this exponential challenge this math olipad challenge give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section maybe in the process of explanation you don't understand one of the steps or any of the steps then you drop a comment in the comment section and besides if you love what is going on here then you can just say thanks jay for the what you're doing for the work you're doing Okay, again, this is all on Mass TV. And my name is Jix Anemo. Do you know what? We love you because you are always there doing our content and you made up proudly the time pass and you are still there watching our content. We love you, we love you, we love you. Thank you and thank you once again. Bye for now.